Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, last time uh, I made a, you know, just an introductory about my 2012 FLD. Uh, I made it with a phone. This time I'm coming back stronger than ever and I'm making it with a Sony Handycam. So, you know, just to get a better image. So I'll run through things. I did upgrade the motorcycle, uh, my uh, switchback, a little more than last time. I bought some more accessories. All right. So uh, I don't remember what I mentioned last time. Shall so just go through the whole thing all over again. All right. Let me just give you a round tour real quick. All right, you know what I'm thinking just to make it simple and short let me just go ahead and tell you right now instead of taking for a tour and then through everything again all right here we go all right of course I got the LED light here in the back and then I got the backrest with the Harley-Davidson uh, medallion uh, I also got the Vincent Hines 2 into one which hopefully I'm planning on upgrading to something a little more stronger with duels <clears throat> something duelish uh, I got the uh, back uh, footrests for the passenger just to, you know, make make my woman feel more comfortable when we're cruising. I got the uh, Harley Davidson uh, highway pegs, Harley Davidson uh, brakes, the heavy breather with the uh, twisted cover. Uh, those are all things I had before. I have the timer cover right there what else uh, I got the wind air deflectors the what's it called the engine uh, heat deflector <clears throat> I also got a single seat but since I'm out with my girl cruising around so that's the best place to put her is on a seat <laughs> all right good and I also got the derby cover I went with the same uh, design as the engine I got the Screaming Eagle spark plug cables in red. And then I got the shifter peg, the shifter thing, peg, thingy thing thing. Also, same design, same style. These are all things I've had uh, before. I've also added the LED full gauge, which is right there. Really nice. I've added the speedometer, my RAM phone mount, <clears throat> uh, what else? One of the latest things I've recently just installed actually yesterday is the Memphis Shades uh, fairing. Really nice, really, really nice. I'm really enjoying it. The nice thing about it also is that it made me save a lot because it comes with the front turn signal relocation. It took me about, say, maximum an hour with adjustments and just making sure everything fit, you know, was nicely bolted on. I also got the LED front headlight. So, really nice Menfit shades. To be honest, I'm really enjoying them. Really nice. It's worth the price took a while to get here but you know it's here it's safe it's installed and it looks really sharp I went with the six and a half inch uh, windshield and I also got the trim which is right there really nice just take you for a you know tour around show you what it looks like Oh, and I also got the, what's it called? Highway, the, the bars for the foot pegs. Or foot pegs for the bars. That's what it looks like from far away.
I did buy uh, the LED lights from Kuryakin, but unfortunately, to be honest, I switched them on during the day and they don't, they're not too visible, so I ended up removing them and going back with the OEM uh, halogen lights that came with the bike. So, uh, just a bit of information there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start it up for you now, take it for a cruise. You know, just show you what it looks like from a distance. One thing I'd like to comment on is that uh, I first went with the Screaming Eagle uh, Super Tuner. To be honest, it didn't really do me much good. I mean, it's not the Super Tuner, it's just, I guess, the local Harley Davidson dealers didn't know how to properly tune it. So, what I ended up doing is I contacted, uh, after reading a lot of reviews, Jamie at Fuel Moto, who uh, recommended I get the DinoJet Power Vision, which I did and uh, I'm loving it that's all I can say it's really nice it's re I can really see the difference when I'm cruising around and uh, it's you know although it's a bit it's a bit pricey but then again you know you got the support of fuel moto and uh, uh, what's it called the, the dino jet which is I mean I'm happy with it right now after about a year of problems and just go, going back and forth to the dealership to get it properly tuned you know these are this is something that i was proud i i purchased a lot of my accessories uh, have been purchased from jp cycles adventure harley and uh fuel jet uh what's it called no, sorry not fuel jet what's it called uh fuel moto so thanks guys all right, this is KJ, 2012 Switchback FLD, over and out, drive safely.